Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, um, I want to let you know that when I'm doing the reading for Monday through Thursday, I do use my Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards and my Guardian Angel decks. I will also pull one from the Inspirational Wisdom from Angels and Fairies, Francis Monroe and Judy Mastrangelo. I will also from Emily Anderson, Crystal Deck. Now, if you are new to my channel or if you are cross-watching, just remember to go, you know, right down there is the uh, description, is the timestamp, and that can get you to the regular readings, okay? I tag this introduction on all the readings. Now, what I'm going to be doing for the introductions is I'm going to use my Rider Waite, Waite Rider, whichever I'm using today, uh, traditional tarot, and my Osha Zen tarot cards. All the cards I have prayed, I have meditated, I have infused the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message, and hopefully, well, I do know, it gets delivered, but it gets delivered to the right address. So let's see what we've got going on. Now, if ever you want to look at my um, listing and what I do, you can go to my website, uh, www.divinedestinywithdebbie. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. I'm trying to do a little bit better. Also, Twitter. I'm trying to do a little bit better with those postings, um, but you might want to take a look. And I try to post on the community page, too. So we have on the 12th of December, we have the sun, which is in Sagittarius right now, sextiling. Saturn, which is Aquarius, at the 20. Now remember, twos are crossroads choices. Zero is God's source energy. Sextiling is actually a good um, energy. It's not, it's, it's not a real strong one, but it is a positive one. It's kind of like, hey, you want to go out tonight? Sure, what time? I don't care. Just come on over. So it's a good energy. It's, <laughs> it's, a, um, it's, it's not a strong energy per se, but it's not a bad energy. It's not an opposing energy. None of the energies are really bad, but it's not something to really get it moving and really get it um, up in arms, okay? So Sagitt the sun, Sagittarius, all about adventure, um, all about um, fire energy, you know, working to, you know, try to make things a different different way. It's, it's, it's an interesting, Sagittarius has an interesting um, look on life. And then we have Aquarius, which is our air energy, it, which is also, you know, which is about, um, you know, thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans. We have Saturn. Um, Saturn is very, has, has, has some rules and regulations, has some structure to it. Saturn in Aquarius is where I'm always telling you about illusion versus reality, seeing things so something about the sun, something about this adventurous energy is kind of pushing Saturn maybe a little out of its comfort zone while it's in Aquarius. Not necessarily strongly, and it's not forcing Saturn, but it is kind of like saying, come on, come on, get moving a little bit. It's giving it some encouragement. Then we have on the 13th, we have Sagittarius again. Now it is squaring Neptune in Pisces. Now Neptune's been in Pisces for a while. It will be in Pisces for a while. Neptune in Pisces, Neptune the deep, Neptune, you know, the hidden, Pisces the spiritual, Pisces, you know, water energy um, flowing, very, very continuity in many, continuity in many ways, um, very spiritual in many ways. So Sagittarius is kind of pushing Neptune a little bit out of its, uh, comfort zone while it was helping Saturn and pushing it out of its comfort zone in a gentle way. It's doing this more with Neptune right now. It's really pushing. It's pushing. It's kind of saying you've got to you've got to do something. You've got to give up your secrets, Neptune. Give up your secrets. So we've got that going on. That's at 22 degrees again to two choices, choices, decisions, decisions, interesting stuff. The 17th has an interesting energy even though we're not there. Mercury is 15 degrees, um, Capricorn, 
trining with Uranus, which is retrograde, of course, in, in Taurus. So we've got the two or, um, Earth energies, Capricorn and Taurus, Earth, money, job, career, okay? You know, your home energy. So these two are coming, they're buddying up with each other. Trining is kind of a stronger um, connection. Uh, so there is that Mercury is about communication and um, electronics. Mercury towards the end of... December goes retrograde, so right now this is entering into that shadow. It's a, it's like one or two days into the shadow of retrograde, so there is a little bit of, um, it's slowing down. There is a little bit of discovery here, so I am feeling like there is some discovery here. So communications, and Uranus is always about expect the unexpected, but in this case, they're working together. They're working together. So, interesting, the 20th, we have Jupiter re-entering Aries. So, it, it's an interesting time, interesting transitional energies. Nothing looks, uh, you know, on the paperwork, it doesn't look necessarily that strong, but we have to remember, we still have all those planets out there, you know, that are um, now going direct, except for Mars, Mars and Uranus. So, there is, you know, there is a little bit of a focus right now, even though we don't have a bunch of stuff, you know, in the skies, there is things still going on in the heavens, and we were told to look to the heavens. So, let's see what we have going on. Um, you know, did I say this? I think I did. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, and like I said, my job is just to get it to where the message where it needs to go, or just to de deliver the message and I know somebody will be picking it up. So let's see what we've got going here. Higher power, what do you want to say for the world in general? Just the world in general, just the universe for this weekend. I'm sorry, not weekend, this week. The 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. What do we have for this? What do we have? Here we go. We'll cut it in three. What do you want people to know, people to be aware of? One two, and three. I'm still getting used to doing the screen this way. I hope that you're liking it. I think you can see the cards that much better. Okay, anything reversed will be a little stronger. So let's see what we've got here. Busy, 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 busy. So this is the eight of rods. Numbers have meaning. Eight has um, a lot of, you know, a lot of potential for opportunity, unlimited potential, unlimited opportunity, you know, there's things happening around you. Rod energy, again, is that Sagittarius. It is that Aries. And remember, Jupiter will be going into Aries just on that 20th, so just right around the corner now. It is also Leo energy. Again, fiery. It is very passionate, very consuming, very, you know, just like, you know, I want what I want what I want. The Eight of Rods, Eight of Wands is um, Eight of Fire is considered a very busy, busy energy, busy cards. People don't know, are you coming, are you going? Things are happening, things are swirling. And it just, it's just, you know, make sure you take a breath. This is a week where you want to make sure you take a, take a breath. You want to make sure that you connect with higher power. You want to make sure that maybe you meditate because the energies are swirling around and they're, um, they're just keep, you know, like I said, you don't know, am I coming, am I going? So next card is, now we have the seven of pentacles. So pentacles is that earth energy I was talking about, Capricorn, Taurus, but it's also Virgo. Money, job, career, your home life. Seven is that divine umbrella, divine intervention. Sometimes it's called the divine, it's called divine interference. It's that, you know, disruption of your plans, but then you realize, oh, it, it worked out even better for me. So that's what the seven is all about. This is a card that says, basically, you know, you, this person's got the money. He, he's got his uh, money, his crops. He's done what he has to do. He is totally ready for his next step. Uh, maybe he has to do a little bit of a cleanup. Maybe he has to just, you know, just kind of put the finishing touches on things but he is ready. So kind of like, you know, if you're having guests over, um, maybe for the weekend, you've got the house, um, you know, straight, you know, you've done your deep cleaning, you've got the house very um, organized, and then just before the guests come, you might have to do a final sweep. But 
So that's kind of that energy. It's, it's like, okay, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Okay, maybe one more final sweep, and now I totally am ready. Now, the other thing about this card, it tells you to have a little patience, because even though things are going around you, very, very fire energy, you know, you might be ready, but it's not quite, you know, or, or the people might be ready, but it's not quite transitioned over just yet. Okay, next card is... Oh, and you know I love this card so much, she says sarcastically. We have a five. Five is um, change energy, positive, negative energy. This is the Hierophant. This is rules, regulations. This is um, law. This is, and it actually it doesn't necessarily mean that it is law um, that is legal law. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean that. It's the restrictions. It's, uh, you know, the business of government, the business of religion. It is the restrictions of government. It's the restrictions of, of you know, of religion. It, you know, this is the kind that's, that's you know, like I said, there's a little bit of let's, ah, uh, let's break out. Let's, uh, let's leave this crowd. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's go that way. Either way, let's just not necessarily be around this hierophant, hierophant. Um, it just, again, very rule, re rules and regulations with this very, tight control i'm getting you know so whatever's going on you know whatever's going on with this things are happening in a faster pace you get you know you have to stand ready even though you might have to do a little um you know neat you know, like i said you know you've, you've gotten everything ready the party everything is ready you know you're just to whatever you're totally you might have to do a little bit of a cleanup you might have to do a little bit more preparation but it's very nominal but then we have the Hierophant, and the Hierophant, like I said, rules, regulations. Um, this is the card that I'm always saying I would rather go, uh, I, again, I, I don't like the Hierophant. I feel a lot of restriction with the Hierophant, and it's not one that I enjoy. But it generally tells me when, um, you know, sometimes it's going, you know, might be about disciplining. It might be about disciplining yourself. It might be about uh, being under a discipline. It's just not a necessarily a card that I, that I enjoy. And, you know, you know, if you've been following me, you know that I have been saying that. So, uh, I go poo, uh, puh, poo on the um, Hierophant. Anyway, let's see what we've got with the Oceans and Tarot cards. So, we talked about fire energy. We talked about earth energy. We have air energy which is our sword energy, and that is our Aquarius, our Gemini, and it's our Libra. Remember, Aquarius has Saturn um, going direct, and um, Gemini has Mars going retrograde, and it's been there for a while. And we just had that Mars full moon. And also, too, um, and I didn't, I didn't really realize this, but on the... Um, on the 7th, 8th, when we had the full moon, Mars actually had was eclipsed. So the moon, you know, if you were looking up there and you see little Mars, you know, kind of, to, I think it was to the right, um, it actually, the moon came between Mars, or it appeared like it came between Mars and the um, Earth. I think it was that, like that for a half hour. Also, on the 4th, I think the moon did the same thing with Uranus. So there are some strange energies, strange energies around that full moon, and it is carrying us through. So I talked about that. Now, I did not talk about cups, which is our water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Well, Pisces, we know Neptune and Pisces um, retrograde, right? Retrograde. Uh, Neptune, Pisces, well, Pisces, Scorpio. Pisces is um, Scorpio and Cancer, fluid, emotional, um, spiritual very spiritual energy so if we see those in any of the readings I, I try not to go too deep into that then here we go let's see higher power and again i open myself higher power holy spirit god whatever you want to call i call it god and so let's see source what do you have what else what can you add to this busy prepared i don't know restriction rules regulations here we go and these are man-made they're not of god they're not of source they're not of nature okay so just be aware of that they are man-made they are not 
they are not like a, they're not binding in the uh, universe. Okay, here we go. Clinging to the past. So we have a five energy here again. Now, I do not know. I don't believe that this is, this may be actually the Hierophant. I have to go through my cards a little bit more to see, but this might not be. But this is a five. This is, you know, not letting go. This is wanting things to be as they used to be. So there is something going on next week. I don't know, or I should say the week of the 12th. But it's about clinging to the past, not letting go, not opening up, not looking to the future. So very interesting with that one. Okay, so I don't know. Five connects with this five. Yeah, maybe this is what, you know, they want to, you know, want, you know, we're always evolving. We're always changing. We are always moving forward. And there are energies that don't want that. So we will see what we will see. Okay. Okay. So interesting, interesting energies for us. Now, do me that favor. And again, I know I have to say this because sometimes it slips our minds. So please, please, please do the like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. It's amazing when you do that. It's amazing how that helps the videos, my videos, my, what I do, my little project here, if we want to call it that. It helps us to be seen, or us, me, God, source, <laughs> to be seen. So thank you very much, and why don't we start our videos now. Hello, my Tauruses. How are my beautiful ones doing? Well, it was interesting. I'm doing my pre-shuffle, thinking about my Tauruses, and what do I get? Oh, compromise. I'm like, I don't want to compromise. Oh, my goodness. Not sure who that's for, but, well, it's for my Tauruses, but compromise compromise now never compromise your values never compromise your integrity um but or maybe it's just something that maybe you are compromising and you shouldn't i don't know just the word compromise came and i didn't get any clarity with it that card besides bending um wants to pop out i didn't get any real clarity on what it is are you compromising too much are you comprom are you not compromising enough so I don't know. Oh, another card. And I'm bending them. Hey, I love this deck. Do not bend them. Anyway, let's see what we've got. Higher power. What do you have for our Tauruses? Let me, you know, I just in general, in whatever it is, we've given the message about compromise. Not sure if they need to compromise. Not sure if they need, if they're compromising too much. But what do we have here for my Tauruses? Okay, let's go there. All right, let's see. These two are the ones that kind of popped and almost wanted to uh, bend in half. So let's see what we've got here. First card is the Seven of Michael. So seven underlying, okay, seven has the divine umbrella to it, divine number. Michael is our air energy. It is our Aquarius, our Gemini, and it's our Libra. So maybe you know, something to do with that Gemini, something to do with that Mars in Gemini, even though it's um, retro, it's very strongly situated there. Um, thinking things through, making some plans. This is, again, again, I keep getting the word compromise, and I can't tell you, I, it won't, nothing unlocks further with it, compromise. Is it a time to compromise? Is it a time that compromise is already over? Um, I feel like you need to tread carefully you need to tread um gently so say so i think that you you know you, you need to be you need to make sure that you're not trying to stay stagnant you are moving forward you need to keep moving even if it's just baby steps even if you're creeping you know not creepy is creepy but even if you're just moving you know kind slowly okay just kind of like where you know did that person move no I just, and I know that sounds really, really weird, but I just feel like slow steps, slow steps, slow steps, move forward, move forward, don't move back, slow steps, slow steps, okay? Um, compromise, and again, I can't tell you, is it over, or do you still need to do it? Anyway, let's see, maybe we'll get some clarity here. The Seven of Michael says things are changing for you, um, but, you know, you've got to make those changes yourself. There is a better course of action available to you. 
Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Again, I kind of get you. The, I kind of get this very slow turtle pace, but you have to keep moving. And I, I again, I feel like there's an awareness here too. So there is a better course available. You just have to keep moving towards it, I guess. Let's go here. Next card is the Eight of Ariel. The Eight of Ariel. Eight is unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. This is Earth energy. This is your energy. This is our um, Capricorn and our Virgo energy. Money, job, career. Now, remember the Seven of Pentacles was in the beginning, in the introduction. And that was you were ready. You were ready. This is you're now taking it to the next step. You're now moving forward again. There is going this says this says something is changing in your job, your career, maybe even in your home. You and you're you're going towards that. So something going here. Again, I'm getting, you know, creeping, creeping, creeping. And what's going to happen is not just yet, and maybe this has to do more when um, when Jupiter goes into Aries. Maybe this is going to happen more, and we get closer and closer to the changes. You know, when Pluto goes into Aquarius, I'm not. I don't know. There's changes. Changes happening, and you are moving towards those better changes. So anyway, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. There's one thing more you need to do. If you are, again, if you are working um, for a degree, if you are working for a certification, it's like there's just one more thing, one more piece of that puzzle, one more um, credential you need to have, one more piece of knowledge Okay, it could even be one more sentence or one more experience that you need to put on your resume too. It just feels, again, you're creeping, you're moving, there's a little bit, there's the compromise energy, maybe you're done compromising. Um, it doesn't, you know, it, it, it's really very, not very strong with me and it, that irritates me. Uh, but it's, it's just, you're getting closer there's one more piece of the puzzle before things open up completely for you, okay? Next card is the page of Gabriel. So page's underlying energy is earth. We know what that's all about. Gabriel is about fire. That is our Sagittarius and our Aries and our Leo. Passionate, burning, very, very determined. The, you know, the pay, this is where things pick up, spate, pick up speed. Again, you're, you know, again, you're just kind of like, I just feel like you're, you know, you're like very much in stealth mode. You're very much in stealth mode here. You're just watching, watching, moving, watching, moving, watching. You know, it's kind of like I'm watching ninjas or something and just, you know, just, just being very stealthy and moving forward type of energy. And then we get to this page of Gabriel where it's like you're ready to leap. You're ready to go all in. You're ready to just move forward and say, this is what I wanted. This is where I'm going here. So maybe it's the beginning of the week. You're very caution, cautious. You're very, you know, like you you know that there's a change that's happening. You know that there's changes that you want. You may be, again, that compromise. And then this is where you jump. This is where you leap. This is where the lion, I know you're not a lion, but this is where, you, like I said, you go after your prey. And like a lion goes after his prey or her prey. Energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. So it's, it's, there's something going on probably more towards the beginning of the week and then towards that end, that 14th and 15th, things escalate. Things move for you. And then, and again, caution, compromise, go for it. Okay? Anyway. It was very, un that was a very unusual energy. So just, you know, just creep, 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 leap. Anyway, let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, we got two that actually popped out. We didn't even get to ask Guardian Angels. One is reversed, I can see that. But this is the Eight of Abundance. 
This is the Eight of Abundance. This is the same card as this. This is validating this for you. But again, I feel like there's one piece that's missing. It could even be maybe there's an interview. Maybe there's an interview. Maybe you've been going very slowly, slowly, slowly. And now, okay, let's read this. It's, this is a time of learning and honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminar, seminars on topics that fascinate you. Let's see if we can get that to, okay. That fascinate you or educate yourself on the healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. Well, like I said, it, compromise and creeping. <laughs> okay, this one, this is here. This is the messenger of thought. This is the page of air. So we know what the page is all about. And we know what air is all about, too. We know the page has the, um, you know, your energy. A new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require a change to your plans. Review all documents carefully. You know we'll meet or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant, truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. So what does that all mean? That is the, can you make sense of what I was talking about, my, my Tauruses? And that it, it took me a very long time to realize that I don't always have to make sense. Anyway, let's see. Inspirational wisdom from the, from the angels and fairies for my Tauruses. What do you have for our Tauruses? What is the, what inspirational wisdom do you have? I love... I've always loved fairies, you know, and I know that sometimes they, well, they get, they can get a bad rap, but I like to think of them as earth angels. So, let's see what we've got going here. I think they're beautiful, ethereal creatures. We're all creatures, right? This one is reversed. Fairy voyage. Okay. Have you had this before? As a child of power, you can bring joy and purpose to the world. Fairy voyage. Hmm. I like that. As a child of power, you can bring joy and purpose to the world. Again, so what does what does this all what does this all mean, my Tauruses? Let me know, because you know I love to hear. Um, Let's see. What crystal or energy would be helpful for my Tauruses? Golden or gold sheen obsidian. Personal power, and we had that here. Spiritual manifestation, earth healing, new experiences. Okay. Tell me what it means. Again, slowly, slowly, creeping, creeping, stealthy, stealthy, compromise. Tell me what it means. Anyway, my Taurus says, remember to do the like, share, subscribe, and click it on the bell for notifications. It's amazing when you do that, how much it helps. So thank you. As always, my Tauruses, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.